Good Friday morning of the fourth week of Easter. Let me give you something here. This is still, I'm, I'm really stuck on John here, okay? Watch this, for chapter 14. Watch what he says, and I want to fill this in, okay? Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. That's a great line here. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself. So that what I am, so where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas, this is doubting Thomas. Thomas said to him, Master, we don't know the way. We do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? <laughs> Good, he's a sharp cat. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's neat, isn't it? A great line. Little Thomas, I don't know, what do you mean? I am the way, the truth, and the life. You come through me, to me, and through me, and I will bring you to the Father. And where am I bringing you to the Father? To my Father's house, where there are many, many rooms. <laughs> See? I thought, well, today I had a funeral, okay? Um, old time parishioners go back 50 years. For me, I've known him, I know Judy 52 here, Judy uh, Sullivan, okay? I had her husband's funeral three years ago, three or four, Jim Sullivan. Oh, that's the old Timmy's crowd. God, that's the old Timmy's gang. Of course, they, they've got their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But I got to say, my homily this morning, for whatever it's worth, I'm so conscious, I am so conscious of of the the many rooms where, you know, the Father's house has many, is a, are, there are many dwellings in the Father's house, huh? There are many dwelling places, okay? That we come together through Christ in in eternity. We come together as a family. And we come together with those whom we have loved and been loved by. It's not an abstraction. It's the intimacy of a perfectly large family of friends and lovers. And friends and lovers and, and family. I don't know how else to put it. But what I was thinking this morning, because it was the funeral, that Judy is now with her husband again, and we will one day all join together again, you see, now without tears or sour loss, but in the fullness of life itself, the fullness of the intimacy of love itself. And I told him a story, whatever this is, I think I must have, I don't know, I had the time I'm repeating myself, the other half of the time I'm repeating myself. I remember when I left Italy in 73, I visited my family there. My, I was with my mother and dad, and we went to Luca, where my grandmother's family lives, her sisters, okay? And it was interesting. Uh, so it's my mother's side we visited. And as we were leaving, knowing that we, I was highly, very unlikely ever to see them again, okay, or they would ever see me. They were old. They were as old as my grandma. They were in their late 80s. This was 50-something years ago, Okay. All right, this is 1973, it's 50 years ago. At that time, I was what? 42 years old, okay? All right, no, 32 years old, what am I saying? I, can't, I flunked math, okay, whatever. But it was what my great aunt said to me, that's all the point I'm trying to make. She said, I know that you be diamo in paradiso. We will see, Raymond, we will see, you, we will see each other again in paradise. Ci be diamo in paradiso. We will see each other again in paradise. Isn't that a story? Isn't that marvelous? What an act of faith in the eternity of personal narrative love. We're family. We will be together in paradise. No loss, no loss, no pain, but forevermore seeing each other. Remember I told you what my friend Sarah, her grandmother said, so eloquently, before you can love Sarah, you must first see her. That word seeing is a powerful word. It doesn't mean to look at or to figure out. It means to see with a heart open to love. So when my great aunt said to me, ci vediamo in paradiso, we will see each other. That's with the intimacy of love. We will love each other again, now forevermore in paradise. That's John's gospel. The many places, the dwelling places, they're not motel rooms. The many places are places of the heart in which we will all be together again forevermore. When I was thinking of that this morning at Mass, because this was a couple that was back to my Timmy's days, that was 1971. 
and, and onward, okay? How many of that generation, the generations that I was with and were friends with and went to all the parties with and all the rest, they're all gone. They're all dead. So many are dead. My best friends, Joey, God, her husband, Bill. God, Dick is dead. Dick Heinrichs is dead. So many. But I grieve for them with hope that in the Father's house there are many dwellings and that we will once again be in the intimacy of the communion of love and life. We will see each other again in paradise. My great aunt nailed it. Ci vediamo in paradiso. We'll see each other in love, the intimacy of love in paradise forevermore. If that's not the hope of the gospel, then I don't know what it looks like. When I said in my mass this morning, I wonder what it is to have no faith at all not just in the afterlife, but no faith in Christ. What does death look like to you? What does the loss of those you loved and beloved by? How do you, you grieve, but how do you grieve with such total loss if you have no hope that that loss is temporary? That your loss, you are not gonna descend into nothingness, that they are now not nothing, nothing, but they are forever someone whom you will see and be together with forevermore. Faith gives us hope that life triumphs over death personally, not abstractly, personally, that we will once again see each other now in the intimacy of love forevermore. I hold on to that faith. I hold on to it because it takes the bitterness and the loneliness of death and it temporizes it. I still grieve, but I grieve with hope that death is not final, that the emptiness is not absolute, but merely temporal. In the end, in the end, the emptiness will be filled beyond imagination, that the loneliness will be consumed by the intimacy of friendship in paradise, a friendship that transcends all divisiveness, a friendship of holy, intimate love that will be together we will be together in paradise, see each other and be with each other again in paradise. As an old man now, I'm in my 80s, I see, I look to that much more as I have so little future left in this life and such a long memory of loss. I hope that that long memory of loss is not in vain, that those I have loved and been loved by in the whole course of my life, the, so many beyond words, that we will once again be together. We will see each other in the glory of paradise and love each other forevermore in paradise. That with my great aunt, we can say from the depth of our hearts with confidence and trust and hope, ci vediamo in paradiso.